everybody, PJ here, and today we're at the Cup of Coal Caltex. I'm here with my gorgeous daughter, Sean. Say hello, Sean. Hello. No, you're supposed to say hello, Sean. Hello, Sean. There you go. Uh, now, this company makes. She's not even looking where she's pointing the bloody camera. Though. She's more worried about getting run over by a fork truck, <laughs> which I think is very selfish, really, but never mind. Okay, uh, so this company, Paneltex, they make refrigerated vehicles apparently. So uh, we're going to have a look around, see what we can see, and hopefully it'll be something interesting. Right then, here we are, panel tags. Now, there's a very, very strong smell of fiberglass here, and uh, it's quite a large company. It covers this bit here, and then we've got this bit here as well. Now, as I said, they make refrigerated vehicles. And if we have a look over here, we've got lots and lots of insulation that go inside the uh, refrigerated vehicles. Helps keep them, or keep the temperatures constant. So I don't know what this is here. Looks like some damaged panels by the look of it. So not only do they manufacture it, looks like they've got a service division as well. It's going to be interesting when we get the drone over the top and have a look around, see what uh, what we can see, as uh, my mate DJ says, from above. So this is gate three now. I don't know how many gates there are altogether. No gate number on that one over there. They were cutting some panels up here earlier. I don't know what where they've disappeared to. All right, mate. Hi. What are you looking for? You what, sorry? What are you looking for? I'm looking for spare cash. Have you got any? No, I don't have any. You don't? Uh, Why? I'm skinned. You're skinned? <laughs> <laughs> richest man in Hull. Is it richest man in Hull? <laughs> well, if it were richest man in Hull, he wouldn't be working here, would he? He's on me. It's just like it's something to... Hobby. Something to do. Board, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you make refrigerated vehicles here, then, do you? You just make, do you just make the boxes to go on the back. So a vehicle will come in and you'll uh, stick a body on it, will you? Yeah, just the chassis. We get the chassis. Then we'll you get the chassis. In. All right. Okay. Cover, yeah. So I take it that's all insulation for inside the uh, the bodies over there, is it? Yeah. It's a big site, isn't it? So what size vehicles do you make? Do you make just Anything from... Anything from a three and a half to an 18, 26 ton. All right, so you make the big reefers as well then, do you? Yeah. So do you put the fridge motors on as well? You do everything? Everything. Okay. Decals. Huh? We've got, we have contractors who come in and do the, the fridges. Right. The what, actually fit the fridge motors? Yeah, it's just a couple of fridge. Yeah. Then, um, so do you do split compartments as well, so you can carry children frozen as well? Alright, really interesting, yeah. How many people work here then? That last count, I think it was 350. Bloody hell, that's a lot, isn't it? Just watch your backs, mate. Oh, you can run over, but that do not matter. I've got two other daughters, so I'm alright. <laughs> I've got a couple of spares, haven't I? I'm favourite though. Says who? Me. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, it don't look like there's that many people work here. I take it they're all running around like little bees inside, are they? Yeah? So how far back does it go down there? Wait, that building. What, to where that yeah. roof goes across that way? Yeah, at the other side as well. It's what, sorry? Yeah, at the other side as well. There's some more on the other side. Oh, is there? Oh, we'll have to have a look around the other side as well then, won't we? We'll have a walk around and uh, see what's appertaining. Yeah? Yeah. All right, OK. Well, um, I will be sending a, a drone up as well to get some aerial shots from above. You know, is this all a private estate? I don't know, some, some people say it is private, some people say it is private. I just, when we come in there's a security down there, yeah, but there's nobody in. 
they were coming at night time. There's no one there. Oh, all right, I'm going to say there were nobody there when we came in, was there? Yeah, there were kettle there, <laughs> but that was about it. So, some people say it's a private estate, and others say it's a public. Yeah, they're all this. They're all that public. All this is public. But they're all garbage. All oh, right, okay, because I'm wondering why fork trucks are running around on the road without number plates and things like don't that on. Need to, don't need to. You are sorry? Yeah, don't need to any plates. yeah, yeah, if you're running on a public road, you've got to have number plates on, mate. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I used to teach fork trucks, mate, yeah. I know. Yeah, if you're running around on a public road, you've, you've got to have, legally, you've got to have number plates on and you've got to have a driver's license for a car to drive a fork truck on a public road. That's why I wondered if it were private or not, you see. Because if it's private, obviously the rules are slightly yeah. different. Well, that depends, because this is business park, basically. Yeah, but if it's still a public highway, do you understand what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, if it's a public highway, then uh, Realistically, they're supposed to have number plates on them. So, what you got in there? You got your snap in there? Yeah. Oh, I've got some uh, lights. I've got some lights, yeah. LED, LED lights. I thought you'd got sandwiches in there. Yeah. It says Morrison's on there. Oh, getting ready to dig into a, a cheese and onion sandwich or something. I don't suppose there's any chance of a look around then, is there? You need to well, sign in that. Please. I'll make reception so people know that you're here. Alright. So what do you do here then? Grab bangs around. Hello. Van driver, what do you do? I'm you're the fitter. light fitter, are you? I'm light fitter, yeah. <laughs> are you electrician? Yeah? Well it's auto electrician, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, does that qualify you to work in houses and things like that? I then? don't have the qualification for that. You yeah. do have the qualification for that. So where are you from? Poland. 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 Ah, yes, that's Polsky. Yes, that's Polsky. Ah, okay. <laughs> ah. Do you like it here? Yeah, yeah. It's all right. It's a bit warmer than Poland this time of year, isn't it? Uh, well, it started snowing last weekend. So yeah, right. yeah, I know. They get a lot of snow in Poland, mm -hmm. don't they? We don't get snow here anymore. No, we used to have snow when we were kids. But we don't seem to get snow anymore. I'm not complaining, like, I don't want snow. I don't want to, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, neither do I, mate. Neither do I. Yeah. Right, well, we're going to have a walk around, see what else we can see. There are no gaffers about, then. What? No bosses. Well, the boss is in the main building. All right, OK. If you want to speak with him, we have to follow this road, go to main reception. You have to what, sorry, go all the way around? To the main reception. Oh, main reception's around there, is it? All oh, right, well, we'll go and have a walk around there then. So, what, oh. basically, what are you looking for? You just see you No, know, just make uh, videos for social media, you know, Facebook right. and stuff like that, YouTube. All right. And uh, all I do is, I spend, I'm sad really, I go and spend all my life walking around industrial estates. Oh, right. No, to be honest, I find industrial estates uh, very interesting because They've got such a wide variety of different things on an industrial estate. You know, you've got you making. Uh, well, if, like I said, if you wanna take some photograph, picture, or video, you need to get permission from yeah. from main office. Nah, I don't. Not if it, not if this is public, I don't. I'm fine. Uh, as long as I don't go onto your property, I'm fine, mate. So if you're not going to property, you won't see anything, so... <laughs> yeah, well, I'll send the drone up and see everything from above, you see. Yeah. And do it that way. What's uh, your name? Mirek. 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 Okay, I'm Pete. Nice this is Sean. Hi. Also known as Trouble. <laughs> also known as Dad, have you got any money? <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Right, anyway. Right. We'll uh, get on me, Shake, and we'll uh, see you in a bit. See you later, guys. All right, uh, ta da. I found everybody in Hull to be very, very sociable. In a good way, though. Yeah. You know, they're not like you go to some places and they kick off and they're like, all the time. Yeah.
But uh, no, these uh, round here, I've not come across anybody apart from one stupid forklift driver who wanted to kill everybody. I've not found anybody that's. Uh, yeah, I've not found anybody that's unsociable. Right, we'll go and take a walk around the other side then, shall we? Right, we're walking around this side, and as you can see, there's massive amounts of uh, insulation panels to help keep the temperature uh, constant inside the vehicles. And then, if you look over there, we've got some, it looks like extractor fans. So they must be cutting this stuff inside and uh, using those extractor fans to extract all the dust and everything out. Uh, because um, I don't imagine the dust from these things is uh, what you'd call something that you'd want to breathe in on a regular basis. In fact, if you have a look down at the bottom there on the floor, it looks like there's, well, it's not sawdust, but it's, it's dust from the sewing procedure from cutting these panels up. Right, if you have a look here, we've got another section of uh, panel techs. Now we've got some completed vehicles here. And, uh, oh, this looks really fancy, but if you have a look at the shape, that shape's done to cut down wind resistance. Um, some of the older vehicles have like a, a, a scoop on the front to deflect the air over the top but this looks like it's been done so that it's, uh, it's part of the vehicle. The front of it looks a bit like a bin wagon. I don't know if it's some kind of delivery vehicle or not. But yeah, it looks very nice, doesn't it? Are they all the same? We'll have a look. Oh, we've got a body here on rollers, look. So there's just a body waiting to go on a, a vehicle. What's this one? That looks like a 17 tonner, 18 tonner, depending on what it's plated at. And then we've got some more. We've got another couple on trolleys waiting to be fitted to vehicles. Yeah, so, uh, interesting. Right, let's carry on walking round, shall we? Right, so, we're round the back now, and these are the fridge units that go on the, uh, the trailers. The top bits there, where the vents blow into the back of the vehicles, and the bottom half are the actual compressors and things. And then if you have a look here, we've got the, uh, the vehicles with just the chassis on the back and these will all be having uh, fridge units fitted on them now it looks like they've already got some of the uh, electrics and stuff already on the side of the vehicles already to uh, already to go right so we're around the other side of panel techs now um, this is the exit by the look of it because it says no entry there um, and we've got some it looks like they've taken some old body units off, fridge units off the back of vehicles and put them to one side and then if you have a look here they've got some old Morrison's ones, you can see the uh, the compressor units on the top there look so these look like the old ones and if you come have a look over here these look like new completed vehicles all ready to go out so uh, let's just have a look inside So we've got a, a large unit there, and then it looks like we've got a part there that's all uh, all set for freezers. So that looks like a freezer section and a chilled section. Hey, up, mate, how you doing? Ah, yeah, oh, steady. Yeah, Are these yeah. uh, part of panel techs yeah, ready yeah. to go out? Yeah. So I take it that that's a freeze, that's fr frozen, and this is chilled, is it, or yeah. ambient? Yeah. All right. Okay. They look nice, don't they? Yeah, they're alright, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're not bad, they're not bad. So you do what, Morrison's, Iceland, who yeah, else do you do? Yeah, we do all sorts, mate, all sorts. Yeah? That's why you, what you do, what, why you're here for. Well, I'm just making some videos for social media, mate. Alright, oh, okay. 
I do, I've got a YouTube channel and uh, I do a lot of videos on industrial estates. Yeah, yeah. We had one here not so long ago. Did you? Who yeah. was that? Do you know? Oh, I don't know his name. No. Yeah? I bet he weren't as good looking as me, was he? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not commenting. Hey, I'll leave you to it, alright, pal? Alright, mate. What do you mean you're not commenting? <laughs> I bet you weren't as distinctive as me then. Yeah. Right, so they're the new vehicles. Let's have a walk down here, see if we can see anything. I think these are the officers down here. Oh, we've got Asda as well, look. So we've got Asda, Morrison's, Iceland. And then we've got some three and a half ton Mercedes vans. And this looks like the staff car park that's slowly being filled up with uh, units that are ready to either go on a vehicle or already on vehicles, already in waiting to go out. That's not even got a number plate on it, that, that, that one, that's, it's that new, the Iceland vehicle. So it's surprising how big this place is. Well, we've got reception there. And then it looks like they've got some reefers down there all ready to go on the back of uh, tractor units all up, sorry, all, the, all ready to go on the back of trailers. So they actually do everything here really, don't they? They do all sorts of stuff. If you're wandering about, you need an eye vision. You what, mate? If you're wandering about, you'll need an eye vision. I'm on a road, mate, I'm not going on site. All right. all right. They're not letting me on site anyway. What, are they? Well, I wouldn't have thought so. We've got to be careful with forklifts driving a bike. Yeah, I've seen them, mate. I'm used to fork trucks. All right. They're not as dangerous as women, do you know that? I do, mate. I've been married to one for nearly a Ah, I've been married to three of them. OK, so uh, that's Panel X, Panel Tex, or whatever it's called. I can't remember what's it called. Panel X. Panel X, that's Panel X. Uh, I'm not getting the drone up because, as you can probably tell, it's absolutely persisting it down with rain. So uh, I don't really want to fly the drone in the rain. I'm moving out of the way because there's a, a fork truck. A fork truck approaching me from behind. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Please share, please subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. See you soon.